chunk, I open up, I saw my soul a good price out of sight in my whole guy. Hi guys and welcome to Barn Tech Tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Hey guys today we have news about Intel and Raja Kuduri who is the VP the vice president for Intel has shared some details in the investor meeting. Now it says Raja Kuduri bashes AMD and competitors which would be Nvidia at Intel's 2019 investor meeting. Now, if you if you check the image here, this image shows the share of Intel in the market, and then this green outline shows for Nvidia most probably, and the red one for AMD. Now, as per the picture, you can see that Intel says that it is in GPU, CPU. FPGA, AI, PC network, data centers, memory and interconnect and if we talk about NVIDIA it is only in GPU, PC and cloud and AMD I cannot see a lot of things here I cannot really read that but let's let's check it here so for Intel it is CPU, GPU, AI, FPGA, I do not know about it, AI is Artificial Intelligence, Interconnect, Memory, PC, Network, Data Centers. And for the competitors which would be AMD and NVIDIA, Cloud is for AMD and NVIDIA, they both participate in Cloud as well in PC, in GPU and in CPU only NVIDIA participates. Now I'm not sure if this is true because if uh, it is what it looks like here in the image then Intel has made has made uh, some false statements here because right now if we talk about the market share for AMD in CPUs it is way better than before and the, the CPUs are selling a lot more than Intel's CPUs. So now it says that Intel fails to recognize the presence of other competitors in the same market as well as alternate markets. So in data centers, Nvidia and AMD do participate and dominate. So Intel did not mention that. In FPGA, Zilix, I don't know how to pronounce that, that is a competitor for Intel and AI, Artificial Intelligence, actually I'm not sure if Intel is uh, dominating in the AI department because AMD and Nvidia have great Artificial Intelligence technology so I'm not sure about that and Interconnect, AMD and Nvidia both participate in memory, AMD is a competitor for Intel in semi custom solutions. AMD is a member in embedded solutions. AMD does participate. So, right now, the image is not true. That is what I think. Now, it says artificial intelligence and it says Intel shows AI solutions to be one of their four core market so if you look at the image here the four core are cpu gpu fpga and ai and it says that intel says that it is one of their four core markets yet intel's only product in that field which is ai include nirvana and intel neural compute stick and actually Intel cancelled the production of the neural compute stick and it is not a dominating market for Intel because Nvidia's Tesla V100 and AMD's Radon Instinct M160 are way better than anything that Intel has produced. Now if we talk about high speed interconnect solutions it says Intel has only recently begun 
to invest in interconnect technologies, a type of technology where AMD and NVIDIA have long been active developing NVIDIA design and we link a high speed interconnect design for GPU to GPU, GPU to CPU, CPU to CPU communication. The GPU to CPU and CPU to CPU is currently supported only by IBM's Power 9. On the other hand, AMD founded the Hyper Transport and has designed Hyper Transport a point to point interconnect since Hyper Transport 1.0 release in 2001. So that was a complete lie from Intel that they dominate in the interconnect solutions and they do not have any competitors there. Now if you talk about memory which I was not sure about because AMD was a big player this it is a big player. So it says as far as memory development goes AMD and Intel are the dominant player so Intel is a part of it but then AMD is also a dominant player AMD designed HPM memory designed Athlon the first CPU to integrate the memory controller onto the CPU and was a major entity in the development of DDR3 so in Phenom 2 you can use Phenom 2 in AM2, AM2 Plus, AM3, AM3 Plus sockets and can run on DDR2 and DDR3 memory as well. Now if you talk about semi-custom and embedded markets, it says two markets where AMD is dominant in our semi-custom solutions and embedded solutions. AMD designed custom processors for the V you Xbox One, PS4, and future consoles such as Atari, VCS, and Smash Z. AMD has created an entire lineup of embedded processors, which would be Epic, Ryzen, G Series, R Series, ASIC. And if you look at the images, this is for the V1000, the R1000 APU. 3000 epic series so it says that it runs 4k at 60 frames per second it is a 4 core 8 thread um, APU I'm sorry Zen CPU now if we talk about the data centers it says Intel's graphic failed to recognize AMD and Nvidia's presence in the data center nvidia and amd are leaders in gpu compute workloads with most compute tasks being handled completely by gpu and cpus are used to execute command to the gpu amd has also established a presence with epic epic has exceeded all expectations bringing to the table great value massive amount of pcie lanes high core count, insane memory bandwidth and capabilities and great performance. Now the other thing that uh, I would like to talk about is that Intel because they had a meeting with the investors they showed them this picture. Now if you want someone to invest in your company Intel here's a free advice for you do not lie about things because we know that AMD has had tough times but for the last three four or five years I would say they have produced amazing chips at reasonable cost so you guys need to buckle up now and stop showing false pictures and statements let's not get into that and if we talk about nvidia it is definitely a leader in gpu so you cannot keep gpu as one of your core um, things that you do because whenever we buy an intel cpu or an amd cpu for that matter which has an integrated gpu most of us go ahead and buy a discrete gpu usually from NVIDIA or AMD so Intel does not have anything 
to do with it. That's all for today. Thank you so much.